And I was holding her under the bathwater until she fucking finally let her arms fall by her side. And I haven't really seen her since. <clears throat> Welcome to episode number 33. You are listening to the Martin Magal podcast. It is fully actual and we are eating grass. Cows eat grass. Yeah. And that is the you can expect that type of quality from our shit talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That I. It's so hard to be here. All right, famous birthdays. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is thirty-eight. Why? What about on this day? On this day in 1867, $50. There was 50, someone owned 50 bucks. No, on this day in 1857, $50, man. Was invented. No. $50. That's it. That Don't add that. to it. You can you can do with that. You can do what you like with that information, okay? Do what $50. You will. $50. Also, on this day in 1945, on October the 21st, women in France were allowed to vote for the first time. Ugh. France. You said that weirdly. It's France. <laughs> it's like, do you say dance or dance? Dance. We're fucking Aussies. No. Of- what about if you go disco? Disco dance. Disco dancing. Ah, uh, yeah. Just so there you go. Dancing. Women women were allowed to vote uh, in France. Well done, France. First country to do that. <laughs> Good shit. Imagine a time where women weren't allowed to vote. Like how <clears throat> fucked that would be. that had that was just normal that women were just considered. Not- well, I think like if you look at history, it's always been pretty fucked with a lot of things. Still is fucked with a lot of things. It's always going to be no. Everything's with a lot good of now. Everything's perfect. No, now. no, no. In Portugal, they've passed now censoring the internet from fake news, but the government determines. What's fake news? Um, yeah, but in Portugal... In Portugal, they, you're allowed to have any drug you want. Yeah, they decriminalised and it lowered the people doing drugs. Yeah, of course. It should, they should do that internationally. There's still problems. There's still problems. We've got to fix them. We've Everything's fix fixed them. now. Done. You get the hammer, you get the bricks, the concrete, you fix it. Wholesome. Everything's fixed now. All right. Uh, also, famous birthdays, Kim Kardashian turns 38 today and her tits turn 43. Her tits were actually first. And then oh. the rest of her grew from the breast tissue. Stem cell research. Yes, exactly. Stem cell research. Look it up. If you don't believe me, fuck off and go, go, to, go to book go to book up it. <laughs> Fucking fuck off, man. <laughs> go to book. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's a clap. That's a clap. <laughs> go to book up it. Judge oh. Judy Scheindlin's. 76. Whoa, she has an age. I swear we've spoken about her before. I'd love to fucking hit her just to see her reaction. Just a jab. Hey, you can't. You can't. She'd lose her shit, shit I reckon. Dude, she would take you to court. She is in a very fiery old lass. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to throw peg human shit at her back. <laughs> 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 just just to see what she would do <laughs> like she'd get, she's walking down the street walking to work with her suitcase you run behind her and as hard as you can peg human shit in her back <laughs> the center of her spine <laughs> and just yeah. see her turn around realize what it is and then just see her reaction <laughs> i'd pay money to watch that dude yeah, is oh that God. is that? I, I guess you'd go to jail for that, but it would be honestly be worth the yeah. 30, 30 days in jail. No, I reckon it'd be years because she's got connections as a judge. As first, oh yeah, we'd probably go to jail for a couple of years. Fuck Still, oh, it's nearly me. worth it. Nearly worth it. <clears throat> no, nearly worth it. Also, Carrie Fisher, who is an actor, she's famous for Star Wars. She turns Nintendo 64. 64 today. She's 64 years old. Oh, she's she, dead. 63. Oh, she would have turned 63. 63. Oh, you added that. that. God, God, you're, you're a snuggling 
Yeah, that's her, and she's 64. And also, um, <coughs> Judge Judy, she watches... Look, we're not going to do Comedy's that. comedy. Yeah, but if anyone knows her, please throw human shit at her back <laughs> and film it, because I'd love to see that. Please, if anyone does that, we'll give you a shout out. We'll give you a shout out, all right, on all of our social medias if you throw human shit Especially at Judge Judy. Throw a big lump of human shit at her back. <laughs> it has to Go! Be. Spread the word. It needs to happen. Judge Judy Shandling. Is this defamation? <sighs> no, because we're not talking ill of her. We're just... Yeah, we're, we're not saying anything speech, bad. Probably. <laughs> Is that, that, that's, like, that's like what Hitler did. No, it's comedy. If you know her, throw human shit at her back. <laughs> oh, I'm full of power. <laughs> Everyone go throw human shit at Judge Judy Shandling's back. <laughs> spread the word to spread the shit. <laughs> Hot sick goop shit. Hot sick ass shit. Slap it on her back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, I was happy. And oh, that was it. I was like content with life for a good 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, that brings us to our uh, next segment, which has been renamed Human Shit! So Human Shit and Dutch Judy! <laughs> And this is a segment where we just <laughs> answer fan questions that we have had sent in from Instagram. Oh my god. So it's a Q&A. Mm -hmm. Human shit. Dumbass underscore 106 has asked, if you could pick between <laughs> sucking Michael's toes or ripping off your toenails, which one would you do? This is from Martian. I'm sucking his toes. I don't want mine ripped off. I don't want my toes looking as mong and that fucking shit dog. Fuck off. I'd it's just... painful. Yeah, I know. So I'd just stick your toes in my mouth and suck until we both ejaculated. Mm, mm, peaking of pure sex ecstasy. <laughs> <at the same. laughs> Next question is from T. Weirs. And he's asked, or she, when are you cunts making a movie? 15 hours from now. Yeah, we have. You didn't read my email. Paramount, did you? Paramount has contacted. You told me. Yeah. Didn't read the email. Um, well, look, we'll have a movie one day, you know. I don't know when, but we'll probably bloody um, a couple of years. Let's say a couple of years. Show first. Yeah, we want to. We want a show, and then a movie, and then a. And uh, then we'll die. And then a we'll sponsor a Holden in the V8s. That's the big the pinnacle of success. That's what we want to do with our lives. Sponsor Holden V8 supercars. Bathurst. Peter, <laughs> Peter Brock cr crushed it. Isn't he the guy that got killed he in fucking cricket? Crushed it. Peter Brock fucking slammed into the trees. Oh, he died. He's gone. You all right? And Holden sponsored it. We need to do it now. Next question is from Slipknot underscore maggot underscore. What is your favorite video and why? It's a great Instagram video. Like, let's go movie. What? Movie. No, he wants to know what our favorite video of our videos is. Oh, our fa Oh, fuck. I would never have put that together. My favorite video of us is probably um the Passed Out Mate compilation. That's every time I watch that, I laugh hard. And you laugh, yeah. Over, and that is like... Overly hard. That is like four years of Michael getting fucking fucked up. So he's so unconscious and me just fucking with him. My favorite is a YouTube video... I don't think I think we might have released it on Facebook. If you go to our YouTube, where we did like we used to go to UQ. We've been banned from all universities in Queensland because of what we've done permanently. And uh, hit Marty, it's called the stalker. The stalker prank, exactly. Yeah, I forgot that. And I pretend to <coughs> be obsessed with Michael. So like, I go up to like people going, "Hey, can you just vouch and cover me right now? I'm not meant to be at uni. This guy's crazy." Can you just say I was handing you an assignment and then I was just here for like 10 minutes to hand you this? And then he, they have to like deal with that and like think of some like fucking way to work with me. And then Marty comes up with his pants up to his fucking tits. So he's tucked his shirt in, his pants up to his tits. He's gelled his hair back. <laughs> he looks insane. 
and then they have to deal with him. <laughs> At one point, he in the scene, he, there's bird. two chicks. He brings up a dead, like little de- baby magpie that we found. I was like, perfect for the scene. I walked up, yeah, walked up to Michael and the two chicks with a dead bird in my head, and He's, their faces were so good. Like, watch the video, <laughs> find it on our YouTube. Like stalker prank gone wrong or whatever. Like Marty and Michael stalker prank. It is so funny that like if that's my favorite video because. Marty's character is so gross and fucked. Yeah, it's perfect example. Even at one point, he fucking like pins me down, tries to bum me. They're not your friends now. Like, oh, dude, it's so fucked. We used to do some fucking awesome gnarly sh- pranks, eh? Like, but now we're banned. Shit. Now we're banned. Sick as shit. And we do want to start doing them again because fuck, we love doing that shit. That yeah. was so much fun back in the day. Using the public for entertainment is the best. But we were, we were king of cringe. It was always very awkward. <coughs> next, yeah. Next question. Fucking cunt. This one's from... Slipknot Maggot. Sophie dot... <laughs> Salamaz. <laughs> Slipknot Maggot. All right. Which is your favorite fiction book and why? I love it's true so stories. I fucking love true stories. I love a good In a Blight story. and the Magic Fireway tree gets me off pretty hard. I liked uh, uh, James and the Giant Peach. Mm. Or Roald Dahl and Ian Blyton is like the god. But if you want to read something that's Goosebumps. fiction based, but then became reality, read 1984 by George Orwell. It'll change your life and you'll see the truth. Favorite type of books are more ri- like true stories is literally nearly all I read. Mm-hmm. <laughs> next question. All right. Next question is from The Darkness. <laughs> he says, always turn the lights off. <laughs> J Grace X Marry me is my question for the po- We get this a lot What? Marry me Question mark Uh No We can't We're taken boys God my liver hurts You didn't even have anything Yeah last night I fucking went a bit sick <laughs> <laughs> Yeah you showed me the videos Yeah my girlfriend has videos of me dancing naked <laughs> Private shows and fuck, they're funny. Ballsack galore. Yeah, so we can't marry you, Grace. Great question, though. I guess. We yeah, I know, I know. We are very, good. very, very good. Important, popular, high. the best. We're high status, high achieving, rich, huge following, massive, big black big cock numbers, massive tumor filled testicles. Big numbers, fiction based, fingers in the bum. Ask where's your flux? Lots of ass Fine. Fine. cascading Fine. out of my mouth. Find <laughs> it. Find it. Search it. This one's from I Hugh E. For a while now I've been noticing I myself sexually butting towards cows. What a strange question. I see cows. When I see a nice looking cow, I start to get those impulses. Similar to what I've heard Marty talk about. However, I get incredible, timid and n- incredibly timid and nervous and can't speak. I need help and advice in approaching cows because uh, uh, I'd love to enter into this new chapter of my life and exploring who I truly am. So I guess this guy just wants advice, Marty, on how you make your first move on something you know everything about. Um, so... You know, the nerves, I never really had that. Um, It sounds to me like you're respecting the cows too much. You 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 want them to like you. You're, you're nervous. You don't know what to say or do. You need to, uh, as quickly as you can, remove all respect from the beast. R- separate what you want to its feelings. Because the two cannot exist together. Figure out what you want to do. And then fucking hone in on that. And don't think about anything else. And then there will be no such thing as approaching the cow or how to talk to them. You just do it. You just do what you want. As hard and as fast as you want. And you're not worried about it. You're not worried about its feelings. You just get it. You get what you want. 
and you fucking take it. You take his life. <laughs> oh, dude, I got away with pissing. You fucking again. dog. No! I got away with pissing in a bucket again. You, oh, that was a perfect question to do it because you were so passionate. Like, you couldn't hear when our microphones it dribbling on the bucket. No. <laughs> you blacked out for a bit, didn't you? Yes. All right, next question. Whoa, that was highly fucked up. If you are ever involved in like a murder case as a suspect, they're going to use that. They're going to use this footage to show show this footage to a jury. (laughs) You are fucked. (laughs) (laughs) All right, next question is from Tyson underscore Bowen underscore underscore 06. What is your most accomplished thing in life besides being the best? Aside from all of the followers. Aside from our huge bulging bank accounts, aside from our good looks, I wish. our incredible personalities, and aside from our hilariousness, and aside from being the best, my biggest accomplishment would be taking down a 1.3 ton kilogram heifer with nothing but my left arm. That's not even your dom- dominant arm. No, nah, I had a, an injury. I couldn't use my right arm. This is a big heifer. Fast. And there were steep incline hills. I had to chase it for 15, maybe 25 minutes. And I had to grab a hold of it, use nothing but my left arm, and wrangled it to the ground. And yeah, Anyway. Mine's probably... We got to... T- you always want to get to a point in your life where you can say you're top 10 at something. Because I wanted to be top 10 or number one in the world at tennis. It didn't happen. It's too hard. Alcohol comes about. You get distracted with girls. And then parties happen. And then you get the way we did. But there was a point in me and Marty's life where we were tennis coaches and we didn't care about anything but playing. Well, I didn't care about anything but playing video games. And Marty would sleep over my house because he didn't have a license, and I'd have to drive him to work in the morning. We've told, have we told them about this? Yeah, probably. Well, they can hear it again. We got to number nine in the world at Worms Armageddon too. A tactical chess sort of like tactical game, like chess in a way. Know your turns, but know when to do the certain weapons and the shots you got to make. I would execute him. Marty would tell me and fucking talk to the people that we versed. Yeah. We got to number nine in the world at something. No one can say they're top 10. I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. Even though that's fucking, that's sort of just as bad as putting your life earnings into a, Look, a, we, a we've, Nissan we've done, Silvia. We've done well. We've done well, but there's far more achievements to come. So we're not happy. We're not happy yet. So Strive for more. Always be better. Hashtag be better and bender. All right. Next question is from... Trenticles, Trenticles underscore 87. 87. Hey guys, these are my questions from last week. Don't know if you had used them or not. Cheers. Long time listener, first time bovine molester. Can you guys give me any suggestions on how to approach my first sexual experience with a plump... This is perfect. Plump heifer. Any pointers would be much appreciated. Yours truly, Trenticles underscore 87. You legends are gods among mere mortals. If you had 10 <laughs> commandments, what would they be? So we, as your humble followers, can please and abide by you. Lots of love, hugs, and kisses. So, power. so ten, ten so commandments. Power. And you already gave your advice on the cows. So ten commandments in life is number one. You go, then I'll go. Number one. Number one would be um, never ever break eye contact with someone with red hair. <laughs> All right, next. (laughs) Number two is finger it out. Number three would be never finish a sandwich while in the presence of someone with red hair. Number four is don't spend too much money on a car. Number five would be watch all of the Fast and Furious movies and then uppercut yourself. (laughs) Ha ha ha! Number, what are we up to? Six. Six is make sure 
you can watch the fucking Marvel films as long as you're under 12. If you watch them above 12, you're fucked. Num- number, s- number, number seven would be wipe your ass. Number eight is listen. Listen to listen. things. <clears throat> number nine is breastfeed as long as you can. If we have any babies listening to this, breastfeed until you're 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 if you can. Suck on your mum's tits for as long as you can. Mm. It helps. It helps. Trust me. And number 10 is, instead of finger it out, figure it out. Byron.Joseph with double H at the end. When will you introduce us to Marty's cow wife? Look, I don't... I, I, he doesn't I have a wife that's a cow. I, I They're would, just... I have lots of cow mistresses, but I would never, ever say, you know, be in a relationship with one. They are, they are merely tools for my sexual ecstasy. They are just huge lumps of flesh where I inject my seed into. That is all I are. There is never an emotional connection. It is always just... Fiery hate. <laughs> Mixed with aggressive lust bombs. <laughs> that was pretty good, that answer. <laughs> I deserve to clap that one. That was fucking on point. Holy shit. All right, this one's from official underscore Declan underscore. Your name's too long. And he's asked, you smoke bongs? With you instead of Y O U, and yeah, yeah, we yeah, <clears throat> but we we do smoke weed. I don't have a bong, but I um I just put it in my hand and then put the uh, lighter under you my hand it, and it heats it up, and then I <gasps> inhale it as it melts. I don't smoke. I don't even smoke anymore. Really, I might have it at a party now. I used to smoke every day back in the day. Now I don't like it as much. Coward. Yeah, I, I pushed it out. Fucking coward. You so, if you go back to some fucking podcast number six or seven or some shit, Michael's you'll see. High as fucking, he didn't say. I a can't word. fucking deal with it now. It just go into my own head, and I think about the impending thought of we're Death. gonna die. We're gonna die one day, and that's scary. I just want to be immortal. Does that mean what? No, immortal is immortal. I want to be like huge tumor. Next to your spine, inoperable, inoperable. What is your favorite podcast so far? Which one should we go back who's the and watch from? or listen who's to? F- who's this one's from Matt Brown. Four ones, just one 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 one, 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 one. Four times. Matt Brown, one, 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 one. And this is from our producer. He's actually an employee at a very large company, and they make big blocks of concrete and sell it to people and he fish. was he was in as a guest on our podcast number 30 so large quantities of concrete in the company that he works for. my favorite is podcast number 17 because it's the only one i've really listened back when i've had the time to listen on a long journey by myself and i pissed myself laughing the whole time pretty, yeah, that, pretty, that was a that was a ripper that one but also um the podcast with the um cat prank call yeah it's i think we lost it and then we redid it but if you go on spotify you can there's two podcasts spotify. that you can't watch on youtube that you can listen to on spotify i don't know which ones they are maybe three I had and f- six footage lost when my phone was stolen by a balinese bitch i think it might have been a man it wasn't well, man, a man a can be a bit, bitch like, man all right, and that brings us to the end, end of, of uh, uh, Kala Makala. Kala right. Makala. Which brings us to our, our next segment, of course, which has been renamed to... And during this segment, we basically just uh, talk about an old story mm. that's happened to us. We were out drinking. This is 10 years ago. We're, try- we're trying to be very careful here not to incriminate ourselves too much. This <laughs> is <laughs> we fucked shit up. We did some we'd, damage. We'd and don't do this. We did this so you kids don't do it. And we've learned from our lessons. Remember, yeah, we're, we're not scientists. We're not promoting vandalism. We're just telling you an old story that we did and it didn't help us in any way, shape or form. So don't do it unless you want to start a podcast mm. and you want to talk about something. Then, yeah, do it. 
But we'd finished drinking, we were smashed and sloppy We're sloshed. like fucking 18 at this point, man. Oh, like we were so, so we, we weren't, sloppy pissed. Our brains aren't developed yet. We didn't know what to do. It was, it was probably half society's fault. I'm going to blame. Yeah, it was, it was definitely not our fault. But yeah. this is what we, we... It was the getting in to... We, we had no intention of doing this, but there's these poles that you can climb up. And it's like a 10 meter wall, right? It's literally like a, a 10 meter wall. And then the school, the, is this? <laughs> the school is on a cliff, on a, like a cliff thing, right? <laughs> and there's a, a pipe, a pipe, a drain pipe that goes all the way to the top of the wall. So just, f- f- we wanted to see how high we could get. We, we had no intention. Yeah, it started of- off as a challenge. They shouldn't provide challenges like that. They, they shouldn't have obstacles fun obstacles like this we were being like athletic we were being ninja shits <laughs> anyway we we get to like we're like 10 meters out. if we fell we would have broken something or maybe even died i would have sued if we did that yeah but so yeah, anyway we climbed up the poles and we we and we get to the top somehow and we at deserve the very, a reward at the very top the we it was like the pole was like the drain pot was like bending backwards if so it had like, snapped, that would have been it. If it snapped, we Goodbye, dead. Marty and Michael. We landed on our backs, <laughs> cackling as we fell. Yeah. And oh. our skulls would have exploded on the pavement. And we would have been free. No question in my mind. Anyway, we made it to the top and we were like, oh, this is so funny. And and now we're in a school. All of a sudden, all of we're in a school. And then we start, you know, we start. It's, it's like what? 2 a.m. At the, at, at, and we start exploring. We start walking around. Like I'm not used to being in a school, especially 18 or 19. And, it, you know, it started simple. We just threw a few things into the pool, maybe pissed in the pool. Smashed a window or two. Threw some shit, you know, just innocent little things. Nothing, no permanent damage. But then we saw a uh, cherry picker. It's like half under construction, this school at the time. Yeah, there was just some construction work going on. And they area. had a cherry picker, which is a machine where... It raises you up if you want to get high to like, and, like you and, know, and, and fucking high and, fucking platform. And wouldn't you know it, the, the, the fucking keys are left in the cherry picker. So what? of course, of course we're going to get into the cherry picker. And, you know, we're drunk. It's hard to steer. We're laughing, having a good time. And we drive the fucking thing into the pool. <laughs> yeah, because it's right near the pool. So what do you expect <laughs> to like... What, don't drive it in the pool because... We weren't initially going to drive it into the pool. We were like climbing on the on the cherry picker bit. But the then we bit. found out there was the key still in it. And then I drove it, or we drove it together in to the pool because it wasn't our cherry picker. And uh, yeah. And or then, our pool. So yeah, you know, the pool was a bit of a mess. But And then we just, we climbed onto the roof and there's a tiled roof. We, one of the buildings we made scale that got on top... And we were just lobbing a tile off every now and then, just throwing it underneath. So there's a few it. broken tiles. And, you know, we sat there for for, for hours. Long, for for right. hours. the sun almost rose. The sun was this, rising. Yeah, yeah. The sun, yeah. So we vandalized and then were sitting in our vandalism. And then we, um, we saw uh, some people coming up the driveway, you know, because it's early morning now. And so we thought, oh, we'd better leave. Yeah, because I, I guess they were doing construction on the school at the time. So we sort of thought, fuck, they're probably going to come. And this is when the sun's starting to rise. So that's when construction workers, I guess, come to their work zone to work on their project. And then once we saw that, we snuck down out of the roof and um, yeah, and we went home. There. And, and we, we went, went home, home and, and, we and we fell asleep and honestly didn't think that much of it. Didn't think that was a big <laughs> deal. But then we woke up the next day and realized that we were, you know, we were there for a long, a sickeningly long time. And we were so worried about CTV footage and fucking, it was... But we survived and yeah. we did it. What, like, what, how do you, like, how do you make our listeners think that we did the right thing there? Well... As I said, we did it so you don't do it. And we it, were... We, we would do it again. No, I probably, w- I'd be too scared. And they've got more cameras these days. This we, is 10 years we, back. We would do it. We, what we're trying to say is we would do it again. I don't think I would. I'd feel really bad. But it was because the obstacle of what we did and we put our lives on the line. We could have died. And then we got there and there was these fucking toys to play with that we wanted to mix them together. Have, imagine having a pool and a cherry picker. Why not combine them 
and have fun. I w- we would do it again. I wouldn't, Marty would, but if he convinced me and I was drunk enough, I'd do it again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess that's pretty bad behavior. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't do it again, but, you know, we were young, dumb, silly, and, and, um, and boys will be boys and all that. <laughs> all that jazz. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's great, great, great night. <laughs> yeah, it is fucking. Yeah, it's great night. Broke so. a fair bit of shit. Whatever. Now we move forward. It's and remember, minutes. never ever give in. Always be there, and never worry about it. Never always. give up or give in. Always do it to the nth degree. Give out though. Space it out. Push give it, out. Push it around. Organize it, and don't forget to push it. Push it to the ha. Push it to the hardcore. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, I remember that. Space it out evenly and don't question things. Just be be book. Give up, but don't give in. Be book and organized bitch. Give up and give in, then... F- be, be, be an organized bitch that gives up book work. Figure it Space out. Space it out. Organized. Figure it out. Finger it be out. Be organized. Finger it. Figure it out. That We don't mean any of that, obviously. That was all a test. So, yeah, you guys put it together and come up with your own fucking puzzle. The next segment has been renamed to... Finger to death and rip it to back it on! And this is a segment where we just read uh, news headlines. We haven't done this one for a while. <laughs> we read news headlines and we comment on them. Uh, yeah. All right, so this one is a news headline from The Independent. And uh, I... Uh, this hits quite close to home. <laughs> this should help us get verified on uh, on Instagram because it's a, a, a it's new a long process. Cows found mutilated with sex organs removed and blood drained prompt alien and cult theories. Yeah, well, well they've got, been doing this for years. I but got, I got news for you, uh, theorists out there. <laughs> it was uh, it was me. <laughs> so. Uh, cat's out of the bag there. <laughs> Aliens was, aren't it was, real. It was me. I did it. All right. I fucking mutilated those five cows and removed this. God damn it. He caught me. <laughs> he caught me. <laughs> um, yeah, Dude, so- there's piss all over me, cunt. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to hold my foreskin. Don't! Oh. Oh. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed all over himself. Oh, I just saw piss spray everywhere. Next story is from the Daily Mail. And they have said, Man, 63, who danced naked through a McDonald's and tried to have sex with a railing is arrested for trespassing. He's obviously on some good drugs. Legend. And we've all fucked a railing in our time, haven't we? Why is he charged with trespassing? Whoa, yeah, you've got to... Oh, look at him. He's, he, he looks, looks like, like a he's rail done fucker. some bad shit. He looks like a rail fucker. He te- attempted to have sex with a railing. What? what we well, must be on drugs. Surely. Like, what? wonder what type of drugs make you want to just fuck a railing. I saw that guy running around naked through McDonald's, <coughs> fucking rails. I would be thoroughly entertained. I'd be clapping. <laughs> yeah, I would have a clap. <laughs> I can encourage it. As long as there weren't kids there. Next story is from CBS News, and they have said a walrus defending her cubs sank a Russian Navy boat in the Arctic Ocean. Also, she attacked a Navy boat and sunk the thing. And Russian Navy boats must be shit. The walrus can bring it down. How do they expect to be part of a war, participate in bringing down other ships, the fucking walrus can take it down. Because walruses are war. That's unbelievable. What a piece of shit boat. Russia, get your shit together. Otherwise, we're going to war with you. <sighs> we're fucking coming for you, fucking Russian dogs. We are fucking coming this for you. This is just... This is parody, slapstick... Com- this is, not this is a direct threat to you, Putin. <laughs> we are fucking coming for you, you Russian scum. That's all, Marty. I'm, I'm one for you. A walrus. We just get a few walruses and we'll beat their army. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, according to CBS, which we can definitely trust, kids. All right. That is the end of the new segment, uh, which... Uh, <clears throat> 
brings us to our final segment, which has not been renamed. Oh, this is good. This one's going to be good. We're doing a prank call that we love doing. So Michael's written down some phrases, and uh, he will say it into the microphone. I will be on the phone to Domino's. They, of course, won't be able to hear Michael, what he's, the phrases that he's saying into I'll the microphone. Whispering. But I will, I will be able to hear them because I've got the fucking headphones on. So I will then have to insert the phrase that he says into a sentence while ordering food. Let's see if we can get get it. Uh, watch it. Watch this. <laughs> What's the first one? Um, box rot feet. Box rot feet. All right. <sighs> I have to try and get through all of these without them hanging up. Okay. There's like 20. Hey mate, can I just place a uh, pickup order, please? Um, what was it? Um, can I get a um, box rot feet? Just a large meat lovers pizza, please. Setting fire to an orphanage. Um, I'll just um, hang on. There's just someone setting fire to an orphanage. Um, meeting with a family member. La- uh, what's the uh, the thick crust? Or the, what's what's that one called? Mating with a family. Yeah, member. right. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> uh. Hang on. I'm just mating with a family member. I'm just gonna see what they want. Uh. And a Hawaiian, please. A Hawaiian pizza on, and that's on a on a thin crust. And there's a child with a priest. There's a child with a priest. Do you guys have any sides? Sides. Yeah. Like I'm what? What are the? I'm allowing myself to hurt. <laughs> oh wow! I'm, I'm I'm allowing myself to to hurt here, so I'll get a a, a garlic bread. There's pain and in my um, family. there's some pain in my family, so I'll get some um little chicken bites. Is that what you guys? Is that what they're called? I hate myself. Oh, God, I hate myself. Um, and for the drinks, do you got what what drinks do you guys have? Uh, so do Pepsi, right? Stephen Hawking was Mad, lazy. Uh, seven up sunkies, solo Stephen Hawking was ah. lazy. I'll get some Seven Up, and I'll just get that in a one point two five. And um, I fisted a cow. Oh, I um, I fisted a cow. Pardon? pardon? I just oh, fisted. A cow. I just fisted a cow. Um, I'll get um another bottle of uh, Pepsi, please. Sorry, I'm just juggling. There's like people showing me what they want. Slit clip fish bit. Slit clip fish bit. I don't think they have that, man. Do you guys have any fish pizzas? No. No, yeah, no, no, no fish pizzas. Um, vegetarian. You guys do vegetarian, hey? Ripped breasts. Oh, I ripped my breasts. So I'll get a vegetarian pizza on a thick crust as well, please. Sorry, which crust? Yeah. Relaxing next to my. Oh, sorry, which crust was that one on? Uh, the thick one. Sorry, I'm just relaxing next to my dead wife, just trying to see what she wants. Painted my back with cum. Um, painted my back with cum. Do you guys have uh like chips as well? Like, do you guys do hot chips? Milked a dragon using. Can my I get back. some 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 chips as well, please? And um, I've milked a dragon using my back. Split autism on my salad. I've spilt autism all over my salad. Do you guys do salads? No, I don't salad. Stand up and shit. Stand up and shit. Swollen testicles. Also, I've got uh, swollen testicles and um, large ball of rat skulls. Again, I'll set a fire to an orphanage. (sighs) Again, I will set fire to an orphanage. Rocks, bot. Feet. Yes, please. Yeah, rock spot, rocks, box, box rot feet. There's a child with a priest allowing Can myself to hurt. Yeah, sure. It's um zero He's zero letters. zero. These letters. A. A. Yeah. A. Sorry. A zero 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 A. <laughs> he, he knew straight away He went along with oh, it Man that was hard Dude that was yeah was difficult But I did it I got through all of them With <coughs> them hanging up And then I just got lazy At the end And just said them <laughs> Yeah yeah He didn't even go for To what he wanted you to do I'm not sure But I'm not sure But I'm not sure But I'm not sure We're the Best 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 We're The best, best.